How are you doing today? What's your company? Uh, this is Kaiku Tech. Uh, we provide a total solution for gesture recognition using a millimeter gesture wave and an onboard AI accelerator, all within one chip. Okay. So it's like a touch screen, or you can just it's touchless. More. It's touchless. Oh, touchless. So okay. essentially, if this so you pat, you slide over, and you can control the brightness. It's very subtle with this right now. This is just a uh, proof okay. of concept, okay. but it's uh, ready for manufacturing purpose is really in wearable okay. devices okay. like headphones, earbuds, glasses, where you do a uh, gesture and you'll be able to pause play, skip song, okay. and you don't have to touch your earbuds. So is, is the main application for a kiosk screen or for office or home? It can be applied to anything. That's why we call it a total solution okay. because we provide the chip, we provide with a radar, the, ex ex the uh, AI accelerator, pre-programmed gestures, so that all you have to do is integrate it into your system and it will be able to recognize gestures and interface. I, I forgot the name, but there was some, some solution to scan the hand via the screen. Okay, yeah. What, what's the name? So I'm not 100% sure. This is only to scan the fingers near the screen. So yeah, so there's a field of view of about 15 centimeters okay. um, away from the sensor. And that's just because uh, the devices we are aiming towards tend to be high okay. user interface at close, um, close areas. And the purpose is first easy control without having to actually touch it. So it eliminates buttons essentially. I see, I see. So how, how would you recognize that click, for example? Say that one more time. If you want to click. Click? Uh, how well, would you do that? Um, it would just be an option of um, either or. So it's like it's a, it's like um, in your phones you have like gyroscopes. So it's like if you flip your phone up, it'll turn on by itself, and you can turn that on or off if that's what you want. So it can be modular. It doesn't have to be. If exact. you have to click the button, like so, as it, it is touchless. Yes. It, it's not very intuitive to click something on the screen. So. But so the, the way this works is you learn the gestures, right? Oh, I see. So there's the program gestures which are shown here. Okay where it would be um, like a padding motion, oh, that'd be right there, and it would be a padding motion, turns it on, and sliding adjusts the brightness. So the UI has to be designed specifically for this gesture? Yes. So these gestures, um, you can reprogram them, but you can basically um, assign what each gesture means. So in our case for music devices, okay. we designed it to um, a waving motion is pause play, a padding motion okay. is skip songs. I see, I see. So and, for example, uh, like Chrome browser can't be used using this. Yeah, it's part. too complicated. Or maybe if you implement this into this kind of small devices, it will work best. Or maybe this, this one has the touch. touch yeah, touch so control, it, be, right? it makes more sense for smaller devices yeah. like your headphones compared to like an internet browser or more complicated yeah. devices. Like I would not go play like, you know, um, Apex Legends or like you know PUBG or anything yeah, with this. Yeah, yeah. I would try and do more like simple touch games like Fruit Ninja mm -hmm. or um, like Subway Surfer. So, is this one touch version or touchless? These are all touchless. So this one is also touchless. Yeah. So the whole point um, is if you have your earbud in. Okay. So you, right? you just have to. The, yeah. You just like, have to wave at but it. But don't touch it. And you don't have to touch oh, okay. it. Okay. So it'd be like this would, pa would pause or play it. Yeah. That's the idea. Oh, that's interesting. And is it already working? Yes, we have already? some trial samples, but I think they're being used at the oh, okay. moment. Cool. Uh, these are the chips. These are the chips, yeah. So you want to see the package? I can give you one moment. Which one is which? So these are the ac this is the actual chips. These are two versions of it with different CMOS packages, essentially. Okay. This is the more condensed version for smaller applications. And they have the same function. It's just a matter of how compressed they are. Mm -hmm. So how, how is the electricity usage? Uh, because it, it's always, always scanning, right? It's not always it's scanning. Not? So there's three modes it can be in. Uh -huh. It can be in idle, where it's not on, it's just in the device. It can be on standby, where it's waiting for you to turn it on. Okay. And in order to trigger that, you just hover your hand uh -huh. over it for like, I think it's like one and a half seconds. Oh, I see. And then the device will turn on, then it's oh, reading. Okay. And after about you know six seconds of not being, um, not recognizing any gestures, it turns itself back off, waiting for the next command. So the sensor itself uses uh, electricity quite a lot, but you have you have uh, some 
standby yeah. mechanism. So when the um, sensor is fully on, it uses 24 milliwatts. 24 but milliwatts. when it's in standby mode, okay. waiting to be turned on, it uses only one. Oh, uh, one I milliwatt. See. I see. It's quite small. Right? Yes. Let's see. Your, your yeah, application. these are just. Uh, this is it integrated into the earbud, and okay. just shows how compact it is and how it just integrates oh, into their system, different systems. Mm -hmm. It's also in this earbud, and it's also in this one. It's just not open. It's uh, just shown right here. See, usually, like uh, a Bluetooth chip, like CSR, is making a Bluetooth chip with standard implementation for buttons, right? Like, yeah. So how, how would you integrate that with that kind of chipset? Well, the whole point would be to not have buttons. It would be to be touchless, right? Uh, um, so the option would be have a user manual that describes the okay. gestures, but the user would have to learn the gestures. That is part of the process. But I can say having practiced with them, because I was introduced to these gestures about a month and a half ago, they're pretty easy to pick up. Um, they're intuitive. Yeah, they're yeah. understandable. Do you universal. know what kind of Bluetooth chipset is used in this? I don't know what Bluetooth chips are used. This company just makes the uh, radar with the uh, AI accelerator. Okay. Yeah, interesting. Thank you so much. Of course. Yeah, thank you.